Hello and welcome back to another episode of Oblivion, The Elder Scrolls IV, on Nixus Gaming. In the last episode we started the Thieves Guild and did a pretty good chunk of it. But now we are done helping out Old yes. Amand in the Imperial City Waterfront. And we have been directed to Scriva in, uh, in Breville for our next jobs. But before we do that, we're going to need to fence some more stuff. And I was starting here in Skingrad to show you guys another really good spot to find some stolen goods. We're going to head to the castle. We need to go into the cellar. Now, I can't actually remember where the cellar is. I guess you can only get to it from inside. There is a pretty high chance this is going to be a more dangerous spot to go through. Because of all the guards and such. So I'm going to quick save. And we're just going to try our best to sneak through. Now I don't actually see any guards in here. Which is good so far. Need to go down. Down if we can. I mean, the cellar would be down, right? That's what I'm assuming. But there's like no way down here. That's the living quarters. Definitely don't want to go that way. That's into the courtyard. And that leads to the south hall, which actually isn't trespassing, it looks like. Okay. Alternatively, you can also just sell weapons and stuff you find, but those are a little heavier, so I tend to avoid them. Let's head back down into here. There's some cheap wine there. Cheap wine isn't what we're looking for. We need to go down again into the cellar, so I guess we might have to go through the living quarters. And I'm assuming there's definitely going to be some guards patrolling about. So we need to be a bit careful heading through here. Take the Cerulli Brothers wine. That's part of what we're trying to get to. Basically in the cellar there's like four racks of wine that you can grab. See that's really useful actually having that. To where I can see where the guards are before they get to me. There's nothing useful in here. Let's close this door. Just go around there. This goes to the dining hall. This might lead to the cellar. Okay. It's the Lord's Manor. Might find some good stuff up here, but I feel like the closer you get to the count, the more dangerous it's gonna be. Here we go. This is leading down here. This might be what I'm looking for. Yes, the wine cellar. Easy lock, too. Why would they put a guard down here in the wine cellar of all places? It's okay, he doesn't hear us down here. And he's not actually coming down. So we're just going to take all the wine we can from here. The entire castle's wine storage is going to be empty come day. I'm over encumbered. That's a problem. I can tell you it's because we aren't wearing our armor. Our armor is actually heavier if we're not wearing it. Let's put the shield on. That shouldn't over encumber us. Just grab more. Okay. Gonna be toying around with what I can 
can't wear here. Uh, let's see. Put on the helmet. That gives us 12 more pounds. Go ahead and put on the greaves. We're not making any noise yet, which is good. Get all of this. Okay. Can I put on the gauntlets? I'm gonna end up walking past him and I'll be too loud, I bet. But let's just go ahead and grab all of this while we're here. Okay. Put that on. I'm gonna quick save as we try and sneak past this guy. Didn't make any noise. We're in the dining hall. Which I can't remember if there was a guy here or not. I would think the dining hall has a door that leads out to the main hall, the county hall. And we're free from there. And there we go. We just got a ton more wine, stolen goods we can sell. So let's head up to Ruma. We'll, we'll probably still use Ongar for all of this fencing because that's where all of our stolen goods are. Have pity on an old war veteran. But let's see. Is he at the tavern or is he at his house? Might help if I do that. So yeah, it's pointing to his house here. And I'm thinking between all this wine and the other jewelry we got, we should be good I'm really... on our fence goods for this quest line. Yeah, my favorite customer. What do you got? Uh let's go ahead and get rid of this copper necklace. We need two hundred gold for this next one, I'm pretty sure. Oh man, and those actually sell for quite a bit more than I thought they did. Maybe all that wine was I a think waste. I can move this item. I mean, that gets us what we need there. I'm glad that Shadow hide you. And there we go. I need to go see Scriva now. First, of course, let's go store all these stolen goods at our house here. And then uh, we're going to take off all our armor again so we can sneak easier. Okay. Let's see, take that, that, those, that, all of these. And then uh, a bunch of cheap wine. Some Cirilli Brothers Vintage, which is the big high seller. Wine, Tamika Vintage, and West Wheeled Wine. There we go. Alright. And then just to unequip all of this, become a naked man again. Easy as that. Alright, so Scriva is in Breville, I believe. Yep. And this is actually the first time we'll be meeting her. So, uh, it would help if we had that. She's in her house here. Ah, you are the new thief. I am your new doyen. Alright, well, uh, got a job for me? I have a special request from the widow of a former fence in Leowin. As your new doyen, I am asking you to help her. A street scavenger made off with a ring that the widow Adarji values highly. She is offering a reward. The guild frowns on freelance thieves. Are you willing to go to Leowin, find the ring, and get it back to Adarji? Yeah, sure, I'll help. This is good. Go to Leowin, speak with Adarji, and help her find her ring. Alright, so it's off to Leowin. 
Good. I don't want to spend too long in this mud hole. Go to the better mud hole. Leowin. I mean, both towns are mud holes, honestly, but this is a more built-up well. mud hole, you know? I would take Leowin over Breville any day. All right, are you? You're a beggar. Have pity on an old war veteran. Rancid Radersha. I'm only asking for enough to feed me kids. Yeah, sure. Here you go. Thank you, kind sir. All right. Now tell me about Adarji. She lives on the west side of town. She is fond of the Three Sisters Lodge in the evening, but takes her midday meal at the Five Claws. All right. Blessings of Anu upon you. Don't worry too much about when and where she is, because now we just got a quest marker that points towards her. Easy as that. She's in her house at the moment. Why does the prey approach me? Uh, yeah, your ring. Yes, a filthy Argonian stole my precious ring. It was a gift from my mate. It has sentimental value. I will pay well. The stupid lizard hunts with the name Amusai. Find him, find my ring. Make him suffer, kill him, and I will be pleased. The guild frowns on killing. Stupid guild rules. He is only an Argonian. He is less than human and much less than Khajiit. If you must spare him, at least make him suffer. Okay, so she wants us to kill this guy, Swift hunting. which uh, is heavily frowned on by the guild, but uh, we're going to have to go find another beggar in order to find his location. Welcome. And we got have mercy. D the Scalawag. Please be generous, kind sir. Yeah, have a coin. Thank you, kind sir. Tell me about Amuse. The poor bugger was arrested. Seems he tried to swindle the Countess. He's rotting in a cell in the castle dungeon now. It's common knowledge that the jailers can be bribed to allow visitors to see prisoners. Okay, so we're going to the Blessings jail now. Little freelance thief got himself arrested. Man, that doesn't happen to the Thieves Guild. You just pay your doy in half price and you never get arrested, right? Something like that. Okay, so... Follow the red marker. Looks like it's down this way. Leowin Dungeon. You look lost. There's probably other guards in here. Let's see. Can we just bribe you? You're not supposed to be down here. Uh, I'm pretty sure I can walk down here. Yeah. Yeah, we got him here. Argonians aren't allowed visitors, though. Countess Alicia's orders. She's the thing about the lizard folk. Not even for twenty gold coins. Amu say you say. <laughs> I thought you wanted to, to see Amu Day. He's off limits. Amu say though he's just down the hall. Uh, make it quick. All right. I have to get back to work now. So we do have to spend some money to bribe him, but then he just lets us right through and uh. We definitely got the money to spare, so let's just do the bribe. Make it easy on ourselves. Ah, uh, the Thieves Guild's new favorite. Uh-huh. What do you want? How did you end up in Leowin? The Thieves Guild refused to take me, so I came here. Leowin is my home. It is where I was raised. Huh. <sighs> I went to the Imperial City in hopes of joining the Thieves' Guild. Now, I am forced to live as a freelance thief. Well, tell me about the ring. Why should I tell you where it is? Here I sit in Leowin's dungeon while you are free. What will you do for Amusai if I tell you? What if I give you a lockpick? You'd do that for me. 
Maybe you guild types aren't so bad after all. Okay, it's a deal. Give me a lockpick, and I'll tell you about the ring. Here, take it. Sunlit freedom. Yes, I stole that ring from a daiji. When I went to sell it, the fence told me I was too hot for him. He showed me an inscription on the inside, to Alessia. That had to be the Countess of Leowin. The damn ring was stolen property. Well, I figured I would ransom it back to the Countess, except she tricked me. I was arrested for theft, and she kept the ring. Uh, the Countess rarely leaves the castle. Good luck getting it back. All right, so we got to break into the I castle. Of gratitude. And uh, he now has a lock pick, so he can try and escape. He's going to break through that very hard lock with just one lock you pick. Lost. Because his lock picks don't break like mine do, apparently. But uh, let's see, we're here in the castle. Yes? I feel like we just mm -hmm. snuck through one of these. Why, why is it pointing like us... It's pointing us to go back to the beggars, so I guess we need more information. That's fine. We know both the beggars here, so they should just tell us what we need to know. It's a little bit of a hassle to walk all the way back to them. Ah, uh, me children will thank you for your help. Yeah, I. So the ring, right? So. Alessia Caro has recovered her ring, and now you want to know where she keeps it so you can steal it back. My pockets are a little light at the moment, if you know what I mean. Yeah, I can spare ten gold coins. I don't know where she keeps the ring, but I know who does. Talk to Ledara Matril, the Countess's handmaiden. She eats dinner in the castle at the Eighth Bell. You may have to sweet-talk her, but she knows all about Alessia Caro's habits and schedule. You should know that there are other secrets in that castle. What secrets? I've heard of a hidden torture chamber. They say that Count Marius interrogates Argonian immigrants from Black Marsh. The servants whisper that the Argonians are dragged into the basement and never seen again. You should stay out of there, just in case. Well, that's interesting. Blessings of Arke. So we need to go talk to this handmaiden now, I guess. Just paid this guy ten gold and he didn't even tell us what we needed to know. Just pointed us to someone else. How goes it? I am Lodora Mothril, Lady Leowen's chaplain and chief advisor. I assist her ladyship so that her enlightened policies might achieve the greatest possible influence upon the affairs of County Leowen. So, uh, the ring, right? Countess Carol is so relieved to have the ring back. It's been missing for many years. She wears it constantly. Well, not all the time. I mean, she puts it in her jewelry box for baths and at night. No proper lady would wear her jewelry to bed. Okay, and uh, dark secrets? Shh! It's dangerous to be heard talking about that. The Countess has a secret passage somewhere in the basement that leads to her private quarters. That's where the torture chamber is. Sometimes I can hear the screams of the prisoners when I'm in my chambers. Okay, and how would I find her? Morning, she's at the town chapel. At the castle, she hosts the evening meal at 8. She retires sometime after 11. She travels to Coral on the Ides of every month. Don't even try to find her between the 15th and 17th. So, uh, just my I'm luck. Lady it's gonna be between the 15th and 17th, isn't it? No, it's not. Okay. So, I think the idea here... As we go to the castle at night when she is sleeping, and we take that secret passageway up to her private quarters from the basement. And at that point, it should be as easy as breaking into a jewelry box. 
and stealing it. Right? That seems like the plan here. Let's see how well it translates. So, 11 o'clock, right? So let's wait exactly six hours. Then she should be going to bed. By the time we make it to her room, she should be sound asleep. So we need to go to the basement. Uh, let's quick save. Be on the lookout for any... There's nothing here, okay. No guards or anything. Looking for a secret passage. Maybe a secret switch or something. To activate it. Somewhere. Maybe over here. Not over here. Uh huh. Don't think I'm seeing anything so far. Can't exactly remember what it is either. That's not a huge help. I sent. I seem to remember it being like something to do with one of these little lights on the wall. So I'm checking those. But those aren't showing up with anything. Uh, what else could be, like, secret? I don't think it's anything to do with these. Nothing hidden back behind, as far as I can tell. I'm a little bit... Oh, there it is. Oh, and that opens this passageway right here. Okay. Okay. And it leads to the secret room. Sadly, we don't have our spell here, so we gotta unlock this ourselves. Come on. Come on. There we go. Uh, I don't see any guards, but this definitely looks like a torture chamber. Okay. Well, uh, supposedly this leads straight to her private quarters. And it looks like it does. Okay, so let's quick save here. Because we do not want to wake her up whenever we enter right away. We're looking for a jewelry box. There's a green marker right there. in a dark room. Hopefully you guys aren't having too hard of a time seeing all this. Just casually checking for loot as I go to. A very easy lock. Okay. I like that. There's a guard right there. Hopefully he doesn't come through this door. This is the good part about having this detect life thing in here. I can see exactly where this guy goes. Through the wall. Come on, you're going to make me do one more hard lock. Okay, let's get in, close the door, 
Close the door so the guard doesn't see us, and we'll quick save here. Now, it's the one person said she wouldn't be wearing it. I think it's right there next to her bed. Come on. Another hard lock. There we go. And there it is. We're also going to take these as well. Take all her jewelry. The naked man has stolen the jewelry. I'm a little interested in that uh, divining the Elder Scrolls thing. Okay, that might be important for Thieves Guild later on. I don't know. Okay, where's our guard here? He's coming back this way. And he's walking the other way. We don't want to get too close to him, or else he will see us. Or he'll hear us, rather. But we should be good to go now. Okay. I'm gonna stay sneaking because I get the feeling if I just get up and run, he'll come running towards me immediately. But we should just about... I don't think there are any guards in this room. Or this area. So uh, let's run through. In the basement, which I think is free to run through. And this gets us back into the county hall. And there we go. We have the ring in our hands. All we gotta do is take it to... Are we taking it to Adarji or to Scriva? I think we're taking it to Adarji. This quest is a little longer than I thought. A little more played out. Which is fine. That is fine. We should still have time to do at least one more quest this episode. And who knows, the next one might be short, so we might be able to fit in a second one. Why I mean, a third one. Why does approach me? Does the hunter have this one's ring? Here is your ring. My ring? Oh, thanks to the claws of the clan mother, you have recovered it. Is that slimy Argonian dead? Did he suffer long? I hope so. You have earned the reward. The Thieves' Guild was always good to Adaji's dearest mate. I am grateful that the memory is still honored. Alright, now we head back Swift to Scriva, I'm assuming. So, back up to Breville. Although, it looks like that might have finished the quest for us. We got a reward for it. I wasn't paying attention to if it said it was completed or not. But either way, Scriva's just going to send us away, like, right away. Because we don't have the uh, fence goods that we need. Let's see, she is up... No, she's right behind this guy. The blessed you have returned? I have. Good work. You are truly an asset to the guild. I will make sure the Grey Fox himself hears about this. I am promoting you to Prowler. Congratulations. Okay. You are unproven, or at least insufficiently proven for the tasks this one has available. Gold is the blood of the Thieves' Guild. Keep the fences busy and rich. Then, come to see me. Alright, so at this point, we have Shadow 236 gold. It's just gonna raise by 100 gold for every quest. So we need 300 gold now to get the next quest. So let's head back up to Bruma. We'll grab some of our jewelry to sell. I think we also have the jewelry from the Countess that we stole just now. I just don't know if it'll be enough. So just in case, I'll grab that one. That should be more than enough right there. And 
don't know if he's in his house, so I'm just gonna dip into the tavern real quick. Hi there. He's not in here, he must be in his house. So just do a little bouncing around here. It sucks that it's literally on the other side, but I mean can't complain too much, I guess. I'm really tired. Can we get on with this? Yeah. yeah. My favorite customer. What do you got? Take that. And that. A fine transaction. And that. I think I can move this item for you at that price. I'm glad that's done. I need a nap. <sighs> He's a very lazy fence. Gonna be Shadow honest. Hide you. But there we go. We got the update. Let's go see Scriva for our next quest. Um, where was her house? Her house was like right here, right? Mm, it told me not to go into her house if uh, if it's locked. So I don't really want to break that. But I mean, I have the spell. I have a quick save. So let's just uh, see if she gets angry. Where is she? I don't think she's even in her house. She must be at the tavern. Well, in that case, I'm not wasting the, uh, the spell there. It's like my best spell. So uh, let's head over to the tavern then. It's nice to be able to just jump through all the houses there. That helps a lot. All right, Lonely Suitor Lodge. Greetings. Welcome. Please don't be shy. I'm she listening. upstairs? Ah, she is upstairs. Amuse sends his regards. All right, special job. I have a small problem that you may be able to help with. The guild will even pay a reward. That buffoon Hieronymus Lex has invaded the Imperial City waterfront. Imperial watch guards from all over the city prowl the streets. How bad is it? Hieronymus Lex has vowed not to leave until the Grey Fox is in custody. The Fox is safe, but the Thieves' Guild cannot do business like this. The poor of the waterfront are kindred to the Grey Fox and will not betray him. However, cubs soon get hungry. Soon someone will break. Many guild members could be jailed. Find Methrodil in the Imperial City. She is coordinating the guild's response. All right, so Shadow hide the hunter. We got another problem with Harmonious Lex in Your the waterfront. Shield. And once again, we need to go see Methrodil. So let's see. Oh my. I guess uh it looks like we're going to have to ask a beggar where she is, it seems. That is fine. All hail the champion. These guards aren't out here aren't looking for a Harmonious, it looks like. They're just kind of around. Ragbag Buntara. I can eat for the day with a single coin. Oh, can you now? She's hiding in Denari Amnesty's house over in the Talus Plaza district. She's one of the few that escaped when Lex invaded the waterfront. All right, so Denari Amnes in the Plaza district. Easy enough. What do you need, champion? Okay, so where is Denari Amnes? Is it this house here? It is. I can walk straight in. Love it. It's good to see you. Yeah, so uh, what's going on? These are foul times for us. Armand is under house arrest again. Our business in the waterfront is totally shut down. We need to get Hieronymus Lex to lift his siege. I have put together a plan. What is your plan? You and four other operatives will stage high-profile thefts all at the same time. 
Hopefully that will force Lex to reassign the Watchmen. Your target is the Arcane University. We've had our eye on Rormir's staff for some time, but have been waiting for the wizards to be distracted. This is the perfect time. Will you help us? Oh yeah, I'm literally the Archmage. I can just walk in and grab it. I knew the Grey Fox could count on you. The staff is in the Archmage's room. He sleeps between one and seven in the morning. Take this note. Leave it in his nightstand. Bring me the staff when you get it. So this one is funny. Shadow hide you. If you couldn't tell, it assumes that you haven't done the Mage's Guild questline, or at least you haven't finished it. But since we have finished it, and we are the Archmage of the Mage's Guild, we can literally just walk up to the Archmage's quarters, our quarters, and just grab the staff. Leave the note in the nightstand. Is that the nightstand, or is this is the nightstand? There we go. And it's as easy as that, literally. It's probably a little bit harder if you aren't the Archmage. You actually have to sneak up and you're going to deal with him sleeping there. And yeah, but it's super easy if you are the Archmage. But now we got the staff. Let's head on back. I'm glad you're here. We have work to do. I got the staff. You have the ice staff? Yeah, I literally just walked in and grabbed it from my room, because I'm the Archmage. Excellent. Yours is the last item on the list. Now we just wait for the powers that be to pull the plug on Hieronymus Lex's siege. What do we do while we wait? Good question. I want you to spy on Hieronymus Lex. Make sure you stay close enough to overhear any conversations. Sooner or later, they will order him to return the guards to their original posts. When that happens, come and tell me. All right. He's captain of... The I heard the... Gr Lame. Okay, so we got to go... Hide you. I guess just listen to Hieronymus Lex. Uh, I don't know where he is, though. I'm going to assume he's somewhere in the waterfront. Right? That would make sense. This is where all the guards are running around, so... Do we, like, literally just walk up to him and listen, or what? I'm... There's not much direction here. What do you tell me? I have an arrest warrant for the Grey Fox. The Grey Fox is hiding nearby. I mean, that's him right here. Oh, and it stopped me. I have so, an arrest warrant for the, the Grey Fox. Do you day know where he to is? To deliver a simple note when an honest footman would have done. How typical. All right, men. We've been ordered back to our posts. I smell the dirty hand of the Grey Fox behind this. So that's, a uh, really awkward. Like, I guess the mages just sent an evil Dramora to deliver a note to him. Like, that's kind of weird. If you ask me, and why would the you have my one guess. of the Imperial Guard captains need to listen to the Mages Guild? I don't you think the Mages Guild has step. any power over the guards in the city. It's that's just a very strange interaction yes. to me. I'm glad you're here. We have work to do. Yeah, so uh, I did it. He's been ordered to evacuate the waterfront. Excellent. I have one last task for you. As a sign of good faith, the Thieves' Guild needs to return Roromir's ice staff to the Arcane University. However, the wizards are not to be trusted. I'm sure they are watching for us to put it back where you got it. They would have no qualms about killing you once they had the ice staff back. Instead, I want you to put Roromir's ice staff into Antus Vainen's safe chest. He keeps one in his home. Antus is a former university researcher. Then you pay me, right? Greedy bastard, aren't you? I like that in a thief. 
You'll have to see Screever about that. I'm just running the scam. All right. Shadow hide you. So now we got to put this ice staff back in a random former mages guild house, I guess, which is strange. Strange indeed. I mean, we're also the archmage. Speak. If I haven't gotten that across, we can literally just bring it back, you know, but whatever. Let's unlock that and get in here. Are we going to the basement? No, I think we're going upstairs. I hate going upstairs. Because that's where these people sleep. Come on, dude. Come on, dude. I'm... Fucking losing it over this single lock here. There we go. Oh. He's not even... He's not even up here. Okay, well, there you go. There's your ice staff back. Easy peasy. Alright, so now we go see Scriva? Yeah, we go see Scriva now and finish the quest. So this quest, again, should have been much harder if you aren't the Archmage, but we are, so it made it much easier. What can a humble doyen do for a sly thief? Uh, yeah, I finished that thing with Hieronymus Lex. Hieronymus Lex has left the waterfront? Well done. Methrodel's report tells me that you have done well. You have earned your reward. I am promoting you to Cat Burglar, which means you can use Luciana Galena of Breville as your fence. Congratulations on your new rank. All right, cool. Any jobs? You must do more to fill the guild's treasury before I can assign you commission jobs. Seek more loot. Keep the fences busy with your profits. Then we can talk. All right, so we need 400 gold for the next quest. Shadow, hide the hunter. Probably go ahead and do that now before the episode ends. That way, next episode, we can jump right into the next thing. So let's head back up to Bruma. My children are starving. Please. And into our house. How much are we going to need to sell? Probably that. Both of those, and maybe that. Maybe that. Let's head on over. You get the feeling How he's going to be in his house. He's usually in his house during the day, and then I think when it gets later at night, he goes to the tavern. Well, proved me wrong, didn't he? Ah, oh, let's go over to the tavern. Over this way. I don't know if it's easier to go around this way or the other way, honestly. But that way seemed pretty quick. How does all I'm really tired. Can we get on with this? Yeah. Yeah, my favorite customer. What do you got? Hey, do you sell lockpicks? <gasps> That's a lot of lockpicks. I'm not going to need lockpicks for a while. Man, I like that. That's more. I think. Okay. And that should be just enough. I'm glad. Shadow hide you. Right? Yeah. Tell that is over 400 gold's worth. We are going to fast travel back to Breville and we are going to end the episode there. Next time, we're going to continue stealing shit. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you then. Bye-bye. Oh